Hi, welcome to Connected Rheumatology. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Ortiz. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about another very common lab, often done if someone's having joint pain, joint swelling, hand pain or hand swelling, and that is rheumatoid factor. So rheumatoid factor is a test done if we want to evaluate for rheumatoid arthritis. Obviously, they have the same name. And if you get this test done and it's positive, it's clear that you would think you have rheumatoid arthritis. But I wouldn't be doing this video if it was that clear cut, right? Similar to the ANA, it's just not that simple. So here are the five things you need to know about your positive rheumatoid factor. The rheumatoid factor is an antibody to an antibody. Now, you don't really need to understand all of that and like the technicalities and the complications of that, but just know that the rheumatoid factor comes in a lot of different flavors. And if you're really looking for rheumatoid arthritis, you wanna make sure that the lab you're going to is checking for all of them. The rheumatoid factor can be seen in a lot of different conditions. So similar to that ANA, it is not particularly specific for rheumatoid arthritis. You can see a positive rheumatoid factor in infections, in cancers, and in other autoimmune conditions. It really comes down to how you're feeling and what your joints look like when you're trying to make a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. You know, we have criteria that help us or guide us when trying to make a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. And positive blood work is only one of those criteria. The chance of having a positive rheumatoid factor goes up as we get older. Now our immune system, similar to us, gets old. And that means we have a higher, I shouldn't say old, it gets older with us. It gets wiser with us. <laughs> so, cut that. As we get older, our immune system ages with us. And all that means is that the chance of having or producing a rheumatoid factor in our blood goes up. So the chance of having a positive rheumatoid factor blood test goes up. This doesn't mean that if you get this positive rheumatoid factor blood test, you are destined to get rheumatoid arthritis. It just means that you've got the blood test. Now, everyone and every positive blood test deserves to be evaluated but a 15 year old who has a positive rheumatoid factor blood test is gonna get a bigger eyebrow raise from me than a 72 year old who has the same test result. Just because that 72 year old has a higher chance of having a positive blood test compared to the 15 year old. If you do have rheumatoid arthritis, then your rheumatoid factor can be telling. Although it's not really common practice these days, back in the day, we used to follow rheumatoid factor to help us understand how our patient was doing. As in some individuals, the rheumatoid factor goes up and down with the person's disease. So for example, if someone was having a rheumatoid arthritis flare, their rheumatoid factor might go up as well. Now, these days we don't really do that. We have a lot of other more specific labs that help give us that information and of course we talk to the patient because the patient's really the best indicator of how they're doing but just know that in some people the rheumatoid factor goes up and down with their disease another point is that if you have rheumatoid arthritis and your rheumatoid factor is sky high now of course the definition of sky high is dependent on the reference range of the lab that you're using but if it is particularly high, then we know that we need to be a little more careful and a little more diligent when watching your arthritis. We want to be a little more aggressive in making sure that we have controlled all of that inflammation. And the reason for that is we know that patients who have rheumatoid arthritis, who have very high rheumatoid factors, are at higher risk for having aggressive disease. So although the rheumatoid factor isn't particularly helpful at making a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, it can actually be very helpful when trying to figure out the prognosis 
of a patient who has rheumatoid arthritis. These days, when you are trying to figure out if someone has RA, doing a rheumatoid factor is also done with a whole slew of other blood work. And the most important of those is the anti-CCP, otherwise known as the cyclic, anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide. It's not easy to say. And the anti-CCP, we've been using this for over 20 years. It is much more specific and much more sensitive when detecting rheumatoid arthritis compared to the rheumatoid factor. And in fact, these days, we really don't do a rheumatoid factor without the anti-CCP. The anti-CCP test can be positive years before the person develops rheumatoid arthritis. So you can see how it's much more helpful. Now, as a rheumatologist, I've seen hundreds if not thousands of rheumatoid arthritis cases. So of course I've seen cases where someone has a positive CCP blood test and doesn't have RA, but that's very rare. And in general, if someone has a positive CCP test, I'm gonna be much more concerned that they have RA compared to if they had just had the rheumatoid factor. So that's it. Those are my five things you need to know about your positive rheumatoid factor. I hope you found some nuggets of information and you can use this as a springboard to learn more about rheumatoid arthritis and rheumatoid factor and maybe come up with some questions you wanna write down for your next doctor's appointment to dive into with your doctor. If you have any questions for me, feel free to, to ask down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think, what your questions are. And again, if you like this video and like to see more like this, Make sure you subscribe and like and hit the bell, I guess. Is that that's, that's a thing? Um, I'll be coming, I'll be here about once a week bringing education, information, stories about my experiences, all about rheumatology, immunology, movement, some wellness, and just general health because, you know, it's all connected. Bye.